to Mars. My name's Felden, and this is a Supplying Mars Challenge. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Mars. Uh, as you can see here, we are in the uh, Sintrack today. We are picking up the uh, lettuces here. This is the last of the lettuce that we have currently coming out of these greenhouses. They are uh, pretty much out of uh, stock of all their uh, goods, things, odds and ends that they need to uh, to make stuff, which is fine. We are basically going to stop production now, um, simply because uh, you know, there's, there's no need to keep up with these things at this point. Uh, however, there's a reason we are collecting these right now, uh, besides selling them, obviously. Uh, we have a new purchase that is sat back at the uh, uh, home base dome, wherever it is, just over there, somewhere behind those things. And uh, we are going to take this over and load it into the back of that, uh, because we've got ourselves a little runaround, a little runabout kind of a vehicle that we can use for going hither and thither and picking up uh, any pallets of things that we want to uh, to transport so like uh, we'll be able to use it to bring um, wool over for example uh, oh there's some more spawned that's handy but also slightly unfortunate because I'm stuck in here <laughs> yeah, dear. can I drive over oh that'll do it's picking them up at least <laughs> lovely there we go, good stuff. I don't know that we can actually raise or lower that. Probably could tip it somehow, but that's fine. It's picking them up. Uh, oh cracky, there's a lot of them here. That's impressive, there's more in here than I was expecting. Uh, currently, uh, if I scoot forwards just a touch, get some more of those loading. Let's have a look at the price for lettuce. We are currently up to 33.43 at the sell everything container. And the current top price we're expecting was 32.25, so I think that's quite good. <laughs> and it's only January too, so I mean, there's a chance it could go up more. Um, if it does, that's fine. Um, not massively concerned. But uh, we were over here with this, so I figured, you know, we'll take the chance, uh, take the opportunity, I should say, to fill up on all this stuff. And uh, we are going to take it back to our home dome and offload it into our new little runaround. Which is very interesting, it's a, a new, new to Mars device, a vehicle that was created by Dominic. And uh, it was shipped out to us here in a very special configuration, in, uh, with some very special paint on it as well to uh, properly highlight the. Uh, uh, sort of extraterrestrial nature of this series and this place where we are. Now you can probably guess what it is and in fact you can see it right here as we come in. It is this thing. Let's hop out and have a look. Oh yes, is that not awesome looking? It's all shiny and sparkly and, and lunar rover looking. It, it's not, but it's cool. <laughs> now this thing does uh, have the Unreal capacity in the back there, so it's got special, um, uh, what do you call it, astrometric um, load reduction technology or something. So if I pull around to the back of it, we should be able to overload all of this into that, hopefully. Uh, if I switch to the right one. Uh, I may have to open the door first. Let's just do that. Now I know I've done this before, so here we go. Open the door. Back it up. There we go. Okay, so we're going to overload all of this into there at an astonishing rate. That is absolutely marvellous go forwards and get out of the way. Uh, but yeah, that uh, 90 odd thousand litres, I think it was, of stuff is now in the back of our new rover vehicle. And I'm just going to turn off auto load now so that we don't accidentally 
go and uh, pick something up with this trailer. Now, we may, uh, we'll probably keep this around just in case we need it for other purposes later on. But for the most part, I think uh, I'm going to detach the wrong piece there. So that's the piece that we want. Lovely. Okay, get rid of that. Assistance menu. And let's park this up here. And have a look at our nice new rover. Yes, you can see it's got uh, uh, diminished capacity size technology there. Uh, TARDIS tech, or whatever you call it. <laughs> yes, we've got 91, just under 92,000 litres of lettuce crammed into the back of this thing. That is pretty cool in my book. So let's close that and let's fire this beastie up. Oh, yes. I am quite pleased with this. So uh, what we are going to do is take this over quick to the uh, uh, where is it? To the sell everything container and sell us some lettuce, because why not? And then uh, what we shall also do from there is nip around to the uh, sheep, pick up the wool, and take it down to the um, other place, the uh, spinnery that we've got and get that uh, on the go as well, spinning its way into uh, some fantastic uh, fabric for us. Okay, there we go, let's sell this. And... Wow, 308,000 litres, uh, litres, 308,000 dollars, I should say. I thought that was in euros before, but I must have accidentally changed it. Uh, oh, actually, yes, since we are up here, this is perfect timing. I believe this field may be ready, or if it's not this one, it's that one down there. Let's have a quick look at the old map and see. Oh, and as you can see there, we've got a uh, uh, worker, uh, the, what's it, autonomous case tractor is going back and forth there, fertilising that. Uh, we had a small misstep at that front part of the field where uh, it wasn't uh, on double ration spreading thing. Uh, but yes, up to this field here, and this is, I think that is ready to remove foliage, is it not? It is, that is ready to top, and that should be potatoes, I believe. Yes, it is potatoes, fantastic. So yeah, it's not this field, it's the one back there. But what we shall do is get out the old potato harvester and have a crack at that in a bit. But since we're here, let's see if this thing can scale this hill. And it certainly can. Oh yes, that is fantastic. So yeah, we've got ourselves a proper lunar rover of sorts vehicle, kind of. <laughs> what could be better for us than that? And this basically is going to be our means of shuffling product around from place to place to place as needed uh, we'll get the wool out of here we can take eggs over to deliver to the other place uh, all that sort of fun stuff so this is this is not the sheep this is the uh, chickens i've come to completely the wrong place but as you can see we are doing quite well with the chickens there so what i might actually do can we pick these up? No, we can't. Okay, we're going to activate the uh, strength module in our Martian exosuit and just slide these out of the way in a very terrible, terrible fashion. There we go. Just plonk them there and then there next to it. That way we've got plenty of space for when the chickens start laying some more eggs. Lovely. Let's see if I can get this little lot over here as well. Lovely. There we go. A little bit more space there for the uh, the eggs for the chickens. So as it turns out, it wasn't a bad idea coming in here. It just wasn't the right place to begin with. <laughs> so yes, let's head over to the um, sheep dome. If this is chickens, that one's cows, isn't it, next to us? That's cows. Oh, sheep was the other one further down. I see. I see where we went wrong. Not a problem. Let's just get this airlock closed here. And 
off we go to the sheep. Oh yeah, since this thing is a little bit quicker than uh, all the tractors and whatnot, um, uh, this should just sort of speed up our um, in-between work you know, doing these uh, movement of uh, products and pallets and things like that. It just saves us a bit of time. We don't have to try and weasel that massive trailer in through here and and all that sort of stuff. We can literally just back up to the uh, the product and it should hopefully load. So let's give it a shot. Open the door, pop it into reverse, and if we go back there we go, we have loaded it straight away. Might as well get that random one there, and this one here as well. Lovely. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to speed up our uh, collection and movement process of anything uh, pallet related. Oh, lovely, yeah, we are honking away with all this stuff now. Do the same thing up this way. And we shall get the uh, third one from over there. And uh, then we'll head over to the spinnery. So I shall get this sorted out and see you over there. Okay, we are coming up to our spinnery now. I think it's this one here. Yes, it is. There we go. So, let's swing around to this area here. Hopefully this is the right location for dropping off. Wait, that's pallets and that's a wall. Oh dear, the suspension's gone a bit wonky. Ah, there we go, that's where we drop it off. Oh no, we can't quite unload it all. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, let's... We can raise it up and down a bit, but I don't know that it's going to actually fix that problem. Well, there you go. <laughs> that's not gone quite according to plan, has it? Ah, oh, there we go, it's fixed itself now. Okay, down we go. Okay, let us uh, hop out here and use the production thing as we are allowed to. And we have got 45,000 litres of wool in there. So we are going to kick off fabric from wool. And that should process fairly quickly, I'm thinking. So uh, what we shall do is uh, hop back in our Jeep before we run out of air. And uh, we are just going to reverse around here and uh, have a little bit of a wait for that so we can just unload the last of this in. So it shouldn't take too long if we uh, check the productions. Here it is. Yeah, that should go up fairly, or go down fairly quickly. But uh, I'll tell you what, instead of doing that, we are going to turn this off, leave it here, and teleport out to our next job, which is not that one. It's going to involve this one. Oh yes. This is our Roper Tiger 6 um, sugar beet potato harvester. And I'm just going to check the store quick, uh, the thing here. Make sure we have the uh, correct one that does potatoes and sugar beet, yes. And uh, the header that is on it does potatoes and sugar beet. Fantastic. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, because knowing my luck, it would be uh, one that... Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have bought the wrong header with us, because I know we did sugar beets with it once before but just had to uh, to make sure. And let's fill up with a little bit of diesel since we are here. There we go, lovely. And let's start unfolding this beastie. Because, uh, which field is it now? It is, I believe, this one. Yeah, this looks like potatoes. Let's unfold that. And get started. See how 
we can do with our potatoes this time. Last time we didn't get the uh, the biggest crop in the world that I recall. I mean, it was good, but there was something... I don't know if we were running over more of it than uh, I thought we would, or quite what the deal was, but it seemed like we didn't get as much as we could have. Yeah, certainly we are getting quite a lot here, which is perfect. Uh, we are already up to two and a half thousand. Yeah, it's not the widest of headers, and we're also only going at six miles an hour, because evidently I forgot to kick in the turbo boost again. Which is not unusual for me. I'm always forgetting to do something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we just get to the end of this row. And uh, then we'll go up the, uh, the long stretch all the way to the top. With the turbo boost engaged. Let's see how well we do. Oh, yes, and then we'll have to uh, think about getting one of the, uh, the lorry. Probably over here with the big trailer on the back of it. That way we can properly get to work uh, or get this um, what's it unloaded and all that fun stuff okay let's see I mean almost 6,000 meters that's not bad for a, a four meter wide strip just up here and that is clearly a lamppost <laughs> did not go according to plan okay let's line ourselves up Engage cruise control and kick off that massive turbo. There we go. Martian ignition system turbo boost is activated. Yeah, wrong button there. <laughs> we can in fact go all the way up to 26 miles an hour. Now that is some impressive harvesting. That is going to make this field take a lot less time than it would usually. And I, for one, am happy for that. Yeah, it looks like at the end here we don't have to... Uh, do I miss a bit there? See, I think that was my problem last time. I kept missing little patches. And I think the harvester actually ran over some of them as well. But, like, yeah, I did miss a little bit there. Did I miss an entire line down here? I did. Crikey, that's not good. Okay, I think we got all of it now. Zoom in, have a little look here. Yeah, I think we're good with that. Okay. Uh, well, let's in fact turn it all the way off. I didn't mean to do that, but there you go. <laughs> and let's just reverse back down here. Now, we probably should do a couple of headlands, I'm thinking. Uh, at least just to sort of get us out of the way of these light posts and... Uh, Give us a bit of breathing room to turn. That would not be a bad thing. So, uh, yeah, I shall carry on with this. Uh, we may have a tiny bit of a montage going as we uh, plough through all this lot, get it uh, properly harvested. And, uh, yeah, then we'll see how much we've got at the end of it. Because this really is going to hopefully stop in time. <laughs> uh, hopefully be quite a nice um, uh, crop because we have I want to say 250,000 odd litres in stock at the moment let's check quick while I think about it because if I don't I'll forget <laughs> uh, potatoes, potatoes that's bread potatoes, there we go yeah we got 252,000 litres at the minute so we are going to need to um, get at least that much again uh, possibly more because we will need to uh, uh, if I can I want to get that up to like a million litres uh, so that will fill all those, one of these sets of silos, I forget which probably that one right there I don't think, either that one or the other one I don't actually remember off the top of my head where we put the spuds but I know we've put them somewhere, and it's not that one, because that's got um, sugar cane in it. Maybe it's sugar beet we've got in that one. It might be. That would make sense, because we did the sugar beet and the sugar beet cut and everything. 
So yeah, we'll, we'll have to have a look at that uh, once we get a bit further into this harvest, I think. Figure out exactly what we're doing with things. Uh, so yeah, I shall carry on with this and I shall see you all back once we've got the uh, the final count. And like I say, there may be a little bit of a montage involved as well. We shall see. done yes hello again everyone uh, as you saw there we got a head start on the plowing as well uh, but we've just finished the uh, rest of the harvesting now and we have uh, this trailer load to drop off into uh, the silo but the question is how much have we actually got off of that field well we started if I can line this up properly Well, I guess that's going to work. <laughs> uh, yes, we started off with uh, 250... No, that's not worked. Uh, let me line this up. Um, yeah, we had 250,000 litres in one of these silos. And then another, like, 2,000 and change, I think, that was left in the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? Uh, the conveyor system thing. Corkscrew, whatever it's called. Why are you now not working? You worked earlier. Ah, there we go. That was not quite over the trigger properly. Ah, no. Went too far back. I have to make sure I nudge back just a bit because of the way this trailer raises itself, but there we go, yes. Uh, so yeah, we started off with uh, 250,000 litres, plus I think it was 2,400 and something. Uh, basically it was the capacity of this uh, conveyor corkscrew thing, because um, I seem to remember the last time what we did was to uh, raise the... Uh, we did one full silo of potatoes and then put the rest into a production. This time, we're not going to do that. But the question is, how much did we actually get off of that? And if I pop the uh, HUD back up, uh, you can see there we're down to 120,000 litres. Now, uh, this is going to take a little bit to actually finish offloading in there. And uh, uh, once it does, we shall pop back uh, right at the end and then go and check out the um, what's it screen together. Okay, we're just popping in the last 10,000 now, and uh, then we shall have a look at the uh, sales information page and see exactly how much we've got in potatoes. Let's pull forward a bit there. So, uh, yes, we had 100 and some thousand. We now have 690,000 litres of potatoes there in storage. That is pretty darn good. So we had 250, so if we take 250 off of that, that leaves us with, what, 4,000? 4, uh, 440,000? 
that's what we got off of that field. That is pretty amazing, I think, 440,000 litres. So what that means we need to do is get um, another... Uh, oh, 440,000, so that's 250... Plus, there's probably about another 10-odd thousand litres into that... Uh, how much was it? 690. Uh, and they're 250 each, so it's going to be another... Uh, 60,000 litres into that one silo and then uh, another 250,000 litres into that final silo and we will be all done with potatoes but yes uh, with that in mind uh, I am now going to get this uh, uh, get all the equipment packed away and we shall uh, repurpose this field probably off camera again uh, I'm not sure what we're going to put in it this time uh, so I think we've got... What do we have next to us here? I think it's... Oops, that's the wrong button. I think it's oats, is it? Uh, yeah, we've got... Oops. Uh, oats in that one. Corn in that one. Oats and oats. So we've got tons of oats coming along. Uh, now we could do sugar beet, or we could put some more corn in. You know, I'm thinking we're going to put sugar beet in this field because our sugar beet is in a similar situation to the potatoes. Yeah, we're going to need to um, crank that up and get another... I think we're going to put um, sugar beet cut in the other silo there. Uh, but yeah, so we'll repurpose this field and we shall put sugar beet in it and get that section of the old uh, uh, challenge completed. And uh, then we shall see where we are. But for now, uh, I'm going to get all this stuff packed away and we shall use this as the perfect opportunity to end. So yes, uh, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, uh, then please do give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, that would be lovely if you would do so. And uh, comments are always welcomed. And if you would like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, on that note, I shall bid you all farewell, and I hope we see you next time as we continue on with the Supplying Mars Challenge. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>